depressed. Dexter, can I be honest? I'm sad today. <laughs> I heard. I, I know. It sounds complicated. It is complicated. First of all, where I, I kind of made a joke about you can't stop getting degrees, but what, what's going on with you uh, in, in school right now? I know. You know, I was bored. I wanted something else to do, you know, so I wrote a paper. Have you graduated from college yet? Uh, no, I, yeah, I've graduated, and I, I have a master's, and I'm working on a, a doctorate right now. Oh, you're working on a doctorate, and this is something that you've been doing kind of on and off over the last several years in between jobs, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and where are you in the process right now? Uh, I have to finish my dissertation, which means I'm, I'm kind of close, but that's a big, a big job, so I'm probably still a year or two out. Is that what this paper is in front of me? Is this your dissertation or part of it? Uh, it's like the baby steps of the dissertation. This isn't even the final thing? You still have to do more after this? It's the introduction, yeah. <laughs> That's the intro. <laughs> yeah. um, you tweeted what I did on my summer vacation. How long did this paper take you from start to finish? Uh, yeah, I worked on it for about a year, actually, altogether, off and on, in between tours and stuff. Oh, my God. And can you explain in layman's terms what it is you set out to do or prove here? Uh yeah, actually, it's, it's not as, as bad as it sounds. Uh, I'm involved in HIV research, right? And HIV, of course, is the virus that causes AIDS. And uh, what I'm focusing on is microRNAs. MicroRNAs are small molecules that we all have in our cells. And uh, I'll keep this brief. And scientists have only discovered these over the last 10 years or so. And it turns out that microRNAs are involved in regular cell processes, but we found that they're also involved in diseases such as AIDS or cancer and stuff. So it's sort of like a new angle of, in a way that we can possibly fight these diseases. And it's sort of in the petri dish stage, but it kind of looks promising. So what is it you're hoping to prove with this paper? <laughs> right. Well, uh, it looks like the virus might actually be mimicking uh, human microRNAs as a way to evade uh, the immune response of people. So that's a pretty interesting idea that this could happen. But, but let me break it down even more. It's like okay. it's, when, you're trying to, when you're trying to fight a disease... You know, imagine a virus is like a car, right? You want to break the car before it runs you over. And there's a lot of ways you can break a car. You can you can disconnect the battery. You can slash the tires. So right, right. What, I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to slash the tires of AIDS. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, I got it. That's what you should have called the paper, Dexter. I'm trying to slash the tires of AIDS. Now I would have got that. All right. So what's your involvement? I see that you've got some other people on the paper, Jonathan Wong, Meng Li, Soraya Rashid. What are all those people doing in addition to you? Right, right. Well, you have a professor who's sort of your boss. That's Dr. Rashid, and she's been great to me. And there's other graduate students in the lab, and they all sort of contributed some of the you know, computer work, basically. Okay, and is this a, a, an actual hands-on lab experiment where you go in and you're looking at blood under a microscope? Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, this was sort of a computer thing first, and then I'm going to get into it a little bit more. And this paper that you put out, is this something that you had to help write for a grade? Is this an assignment? <laughs> I'm sorry if these are dumb questions, but I don't know anything about this. You know, this level of education is just so beyond my experience, Dexter. Well, uh, writing a dissertation means you write a paper that has to be good enough to get published in a journal. And uh, this was sort of like a baby paper, sort of like a, an, an introduction uh, as a, a way for me to get some experience. And then I'll, I'll write the real thing uh, soon. Oh, thank God. Thank God you're going to clean this mess up. <laughs> thank God you're going to put some real, roll up your sleeves, put some real work into it. I know. Um, did, you, did you get a grade on this? Uh, well, it got accepted. That, I guess that's... That is your grade, isn't it? So it's really, it's a, it's a yes or no. If the paper gets published, that's considered a success. Yes, exactly. Now, do you think that the work that you're doing, and again, this is the voice of our friend Dexter Holland from The Offspring here on the Kevin Beach, and we're talking about his paper that he has just published. Do you think that this research potentially, honestly, could lead to them cracking the, the AIDS mystery that we've been uh, fighting for the last 35 years? Well, I, yeah, I think so. There, there's a lot of promising research out there, but this is one of them. Uh, you know, they found that if you, you get the right microRNAs and you put it into infected cells or, you know, uh, cells with disease, that sometimes it can reverse it. And this is all kind of in the test tube, so to speak, right now, but there's definitely promise. Wow, amazing. What, uh, do you take a lot of ribbing from the other guys in the band when you start talking about <laughs> stuff like this? Do they just not want to hear from you? They think I'm a nerd. They walk away. <laughs> Um, is this uh, is this super gratifying? Like, is this something that really gets your juices flowing, like playing rock music does? It's something you really, really enjoy. You know, it's something that I started a long time ago, and I actually 
quit school because the band was taken off, which was awesome and fantastic. But I've always kind of wanted to come back and finish it, just to, just yeah, just to have done the done the work, done the good deed. Well, it's I mean, it's amazing. I mean, at least you did. You were able to summarize for me in layman's terms in like two or three sentences more than I got out of trying to make my way through this paper because it is like ten pages of scientific gobbledygook. And by the way, we have Dexter's paper up at Krock.com. You can go to the Kevin and Bean section of Krock.com. You can see a link to read the whole thing if you want. If you're interested in this sort of thing, it really is going to depress you though if you try to read it. <laughs> it's really yeah. kind of bad. But but good luck with it, I guess, Dexter. Hey, just call me if you have any questions. Okay. No, I will. I'll, I'm going to spend some time with it over the weekend and see if I can figure out some more. All right, well, so good luck, good luck with flying the planes and selling the hot sauce and making the records and touring the world and now curing AIDS. We appreciate your time as always. Have a good weekend. Hey, real quick, I just want to say thanks to USC. They, everybody's been great to me. Thanks to the Department of Molecular and Computational Biology and Dr. Rashid and Dr. Baker. It's been a great time, so big shout out to USC. And we thank all of those same people, too, for the Kevin DeBeat Show. All right. See you, Dexter. Thanks.